So recently I had somebody send me this picture in an email and he wanted to know how to create this shower enclosure. It's really a good looking shower enclosure. So I came up with this and uh, they're not that difficult, but the molding is kind of a problem. So we'll take a look and try to create it. Let's go. Okay, today at Chief Skills, we're going to try to build this uh, shower enclosure and with the moldings the easy let's look at it in vector the easiest thing to do really is the door and the glass after that the casing becomes a little more complicated but we'll give it a shot here on chief skills okay so here we have a floor plan over here is the example we were just looking at i think i'll just delete the camera and the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a polyline just click right here get a box and I'm going to make it 109, 108 by, it doesn't matter, minus 36. I'm going to take this box and I'm going to center it in the room. And then I'm going to click on this wall and hit the little break tool right here. And I, don't, I think I can do it in sticky and break it here and break it there. Now I've got an independent wall and I'm going to go down here and use this tool and reverse the wall. That way there they won't rejoin. And now I can get rid of this. So now I have a nine foot wall that I'm going to turn into a pony wall. And go to wall types, click pony wall, and we will pick interior four. And then glass shower for the top. Make sure you click wall center. Let's put the height off the floor at 36. And let's show it as, I don't know, default is fine. And then for the wall cap, we don't even need one. So let's just leave it off for now and just click OK. Now, for some reason, Chief always seems to move it off center. So we'll just center that wall back in there. And if we take a look at it, we have our glass pony wall here where you can see through. And in vector, you'll see the glass goes up to the top. The next thing I need is a door. So I'll go over here to doors, choose the shower door, and place it right in there. And then we'll go back to the floor plan view. And I'm going to make this a 36 inch by 90 inch door. And click OK. And then center it on the room. And then we'll take a look at it here. Now, since we're in vector, I'm going to pull this down. And I'll tell you what, I don't like ever to pull walls down. But in this case, this is how you got to do it. And there you go. And then you could probably even pull it down just a touch more. I'm just eyeballing it. Um, if, you're, if you want to be precise, you can figure out the math. So there's our basic. So we have to put this arch in and then really the only way I think you can do it is with a polyline solid. One thing I'm going to do first, I'm going to take a wall interior and just draw it here and then pull this and bang it up against there like that. Then I'm going to look at my cross section here and I'm going to do CAD detail from view. Then I'm going to draw a polyline right here. Click here come down and let's just say minus 12 and then come down here and make that an arch and make it so it's like six inches there you go then once you have that where you want it come down here and click this little tool convert curve to polyline and I'm gonna say like 180 little marks and then control C Go back to your elevation, control alt V, and then come down here to our little magic wand and make that a polyline solid and then specify a layer. This is new in chief and make it a um, wall normal. Just put it on the wall normal layer and make it four and a half inches thick like a wall. And then if we look at it in camera view here, you'll see we have it. And it's actually right where I want it because it's bumped up against this wall back here, which I'm going to delete. And there you have it. Standard view looks pretty good. So let's put the molding on this door. Okay, so the first thing I want to do 
uh, to put the molding on this is to look at my cross section elevation here and create a CAD detail from view. And uh, you can just leave these lines, but I'm going to go up here and get a polyline and drag that over to here. Click on the bottom line, use my three key and break it in a couple places. Pull it down. I'm going to pull it down to the subfloor and then uh, pull this up till it hits the spring line of this arch. And then create a curve with this tool right here. Snap it to the arch. And before we do anything else, oh, what's this here? Oh, I got an extraneous line. There we go. Okay, so we've got this polyline. And the next thing I want to do is I want this jam to finish inside the drywall. So I'm going to use concentric right here. And I am going to pull it in a half inch each direction. I'm going to hit my tab key and go 0.5 and 0.5. And then turn that off and uh, just go to the default right here. And then up here in the arch, let's use this line here, convert curve to polyline, put 180 breaks in it. Okay, so now that we've got this polyline, what we're gonna do is instead of copying it and pasting it to the elevation where we'd have to work with 3D molding polylines, I'm gonna click the Save to Library button and create, it's gonna create a molding. We're just gonna call this um, shower molding line. And then I'm gonna come over here to the plan view and I'm gonna right click and say place molding profile and put it in here. And this way here we are working with a molding polyline and not a 3D molding polyline and it's a lot easier to work with. And what I've found here is it's odd how this is. This is laying flat on the floor. That's how you have sh it's not standing up like it would in 3D. It kind of creates moldings in a different fashion. So I have created this molding right here. I'm going to place this molding profile right here. And how I did this is pretty simple. And it's actually, I placed the wrong one, but I'll, I'll use, keep this one here and I'll place this, this one right here. The final is the one I'm actually going to use. And you'll see the difference here. I have the shape going the right direction, but this reveal that I want. This is going to act like the jam is extending out beyond the casing. And uh, this casing is the CA-12. So if I type in here in the library CA-12, it's just a stock chief uh, molding CA-12. And if you right click on it, you can place the molding profile. And this is the thing. Uh, the way chief creates casings is it assumes the wall is to the left. But when I when I built this molding in this fashion, it doesn't work. So I had to experiment. And you may you may have to experiment also. But this molding, the way it is right here, I know works. So I'm going to create here. It's just it's basically just a polyline, my fault. So here we have to convert it to a molding line. And let's put it on a different layer. Let's put it on the moldings layer right there. Click OK. And let's go get that molding that I know works in my user catalog, the one that says final. And we don't want it to extrude inside. And see, that looks wrong, but watch what happens when we look at it. See, I don't want it to extrude to the inside because that's where the door is for the shower. The other thing I want, I don't want a molding down here. So I'm going to click on this bottom line, come down here and remove that from the edge. So let's just take a look at it. I'm going to use the floor camera. And you will see that it looks pretty good. I also, uh, I should have mentioned this, um, uh, that I have, when I created that molding, so let's go back over here to the library for a second. Collapse all. When I created this molding right here, when you right click and open object, I colored each molding a different color. And the reason I do that is so if I apply this molding somewhere and I want the jam to be one color, but the trim to be another, or maybe the trim is going to be a different material altogether. 
uh, it gives me flexibility when I paint this. So um, that's the only reason I do that. If you save the molding, well, you can always go in here and change it. So I, it's, it's not a big deal. But when you create this as a symbol, if it's all one color, you're only going to get an option to have one color when you place it back in. So now I'm jumping ahead, but now I want to create this to be a symbol. So I'm going to come down here and make it a symbol and I'm going to make it fixture interior. It could be millwork, uh, but this seems to work. So I'm just going to leave it as that and it'll create this symbol and go here to the 3D. Now you have to remember this symbol is laying on the floor and we need it to stand up like a door. So on the X axis here, here's, here's the axes. We want to rotate this thing around this X axis. So 90 degrees, which is what we want, hit the plus key and it'll stand it up like a door opening. And I'm not going to worry about stretch zones on this. I'm going to change the name here to uh, shower door casing jam final maybe put a space or two in front of the name and we're not going to worry about the sizing right now we will just say okay and it'll put it in our library for us and then we can come over here to the floor plan and we can come in here and just place it in the place it anywhere you want right here and then click on it and center it on the door and click it, center it on the wall and it'll go right into place. And then we can take a look and see what we got here. I might have to up, uh, adjust the Z axis. So let's click on it and open it and see where it is relative to the floor. So it's zero to the finished floor and I want it to be to the floor. So like that. Let's see if that fixes it. I might still have to lower it a little bit. It looks pretty good there. Um, and now I can take, if I want, I can just take my trim color and paint it here and click on that door. I did on object and I'll spin around and I just did the hide camera, which is a new tool in chief. And that's a great feature actually. And then I'm going to come down here, grab this again and paint this casing. Uh, the other thing I might want to do is just take this green and just paint it drywall. Just paint it however you want. I'm just showing you how when you have a symbol with three different colors, you can paint it however you want. And there is your shower enclosure with a molding. And uh, it looks pretty good, actually. Uh, it's not perfect. I mean, it's... It's not the great. If you try to put tile on these moldings, it won't really work. So like if I was to hit the little painter tool here and let me just filter this by flooring tile and go down here to dowel tile or something. And let's just say we want to pick this tile. OK, or this one. And you paint. Let's just paint this component and I paint it here on the outside here to be a tile. It looks good, maybe, but look at the top part. So it doesn't work and it's going the wrong direction. I mean, I could use my tool here and go like this, my rainbow tool and change the texture to be, oh, 90 degrees here. And we'll see what happens. It'll go the right way along these, see, but up here it's not right. And you almost need to create a separate molding just for this to apply that to. So there's problems with the suggestion I'm giving you here, but uh, for general purposes, it works fairly well. So uh, I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and uh, check out my YouTube page and feel free to leave comments. Thanks.